In this video, I'm trying to beat Minecraft while chickens lay OP items, so we'll see how that goes. Also, only a small percentage of people watching my videos are actually subscribed. It's free and helps out a ton. Now enjoy the video. So I started off in a pretty decent spawn, just headed over to the nether portal and gathered resources. And then I decided to look around a little bit more and found this abandoned village just over the hill and started collecting seeds so that I could get some chickens and it got a couple to follow me. Now, I kept exploring the village a little bit more and got some hay bales for food and decided to start preparing some basic need for now before I started farming a ton of chickens. I decided to start making them a pen and this pen wouldn't be anything really special. It's just a simple little 2x2 two two square just at the end of the village, but it should do for now. After getting them into the pen with only minor difficulties, I decided to go and get more seeds and find an easier way to get them into the pen. So after I got them some more seeds, I grabbed a couple of chickens and went to the farm to grab as much wheat and seeds as I could because this is really what the game depended on. Like, the game is pretty much seeds and chickens. And I got some wood for a trapdoor because I knew the chickens thought trapdoors were blocks. And then you can easily make them think they're stepping on a block when they aren't and let them fall in. So then, I quickly made a trapdoor. Right after that, place the trapdoor down, and boom, we got a couple chickens. Now this was really painful, just waiting forever for the chickens to grow up and everything, so I went and started to get a couple of resources and materials while I was waiting. And then, after breeding for a while and getting more resources, I planted a couple of seeds so that maybe this would help. So the majority of the time, I was just collecting seed after seed after seed, which is a painful task. But it was totally worth it once you see everything that I got out of it. Oh, and I've already built a nether portal as well, ready to go to the nether before I was even close to ready. So I keep collecting more seeds. Finally, I have plenty of seeds so that I can breed for a little bit. And I start getting some extra resources such as iron and bottles of enchanting. These things are really good. I've got a trident and a diamond pickaxe arm. I got tons of insane loot that you would not expect anywhere, as you can see in the chest. Crazy. I then enchanted a crossbow, and now I have tons of stuff so that I'm prepared. Like I could go to the nether right now if I wanted to. I'm personally not amazing at Minecraft, that's why I decided to wait until I had full netherite armor. And later I got tons of diamonds and made diamond armor. I waited and turned a bunch of it into nether armor, which is looking really good. And I keep getting tons of useless loot now. This is a fun add-on, you should totally try it out. Just for fun, if you're not any serious player. But if you really want a new idea, a new method to play the game, a couple people think Minecraft is a very difficult game. So then just try this out, it'll be fun. And this is a good way to help kind of get you ready for a bigger challenge. And as you can see, I'm preparing a little bit more. Built a cauldron to help get some tipped arrows. I got tons of XP so that I could hopefully enchant my netherite armor and see if I get anything good on them. And I'm waiting for some good materials and some more netherite as well so I can turn my boots into netherite. We'll build some extra weapons in the end, and now this really took forever. Such a pain, such a pain to get all this, but definitely less of one normal, like way less. Finally, I got tons of netherite gear and turned my helmet netherite. I <laughs> then right after got an enchanted diamond helmet with a lot better enchantments right after I made the netherite helmet, so I wasted a whole good of it. Lucky though, it seemed easy enough to get all of these chickens. Also notice something strange, like, look at that, the weirdest thing ever. What you guys eat? Holy cow. You guys are weird. The baby chicken's face and the daddy chicken's face, they're exactly the same, except the baby chicken's face is just slightly smaller, which makes the baby chicken look like it has an overly large head. So as I got prepared and got everything finalized for my preparation to the nether, got XP and chat to myself, I decided to take my trip to the nether. And after going around a little bit warming up to the surroundings, I decided to set out with my electric, and then I remembered. I forgot to mark down the coordinates of my portal, so I had to find it again and mark them down. So traveling through the nether actually wasn't terrible, because once I found a soul sand valley, I followed it for a couple minutes, and then found the nether fortress insanely quickly, which is probably one of the fastest times I've ever found it. And after taking them out, I realized that my looting three sword ended up giving me a couple wither schools. It's crazy, and also helped insanely well with getting blaze rods. I got them super quickly, so guys definitely bring a looting 3 sword the next time you go to the nether. I never thought it was really that good, but it turned out it was awesome. I exited the nether fortress and went to find my way home. I went through the red forest, kept forgetting so many times that my elytra wasn't equipped so I lost a couple hearts, traded with some piglins for some useless loot and decided that it was of no use, so I decided to just leave. So then as I was exploring, I ended up getting hit by a couple of gas. These gasps were very annoying. I got down to really low hearts and burned to death. Sadly, I didn't end up winning, 
which shows how awesome I am at Minecraft.